I'm a bit of a ham. I mean, in the sense that, you know, at any given time, I could jump in and, like, you know, do a little soft shoot. Or, you know, whatever it takes, I mean, I like, you know, to create a ruckus. We would like you to be our friend. Will you be my friend? You know? Derek is very special. DJ, he can uh, bring people to many places they didn't expect they were going to go. A little flaky at times. No, I'm joking, but cool. He's rubbish. <laughs> Either like want to be him or want to be his friend. If he loves you, he loves you full on. And if you're on his bad side, make sure you watch out. If you put four turntables in front of him, he'll probably use them all. And if you put two seat, like a dual CD deck, he'll probably use that. all six, you know, yeah. things going at once. And then if there was a microphone, he'd probably get on there. Just extreme talent, man. These are my hours. These are my hours for sure. Like there's nothing happening, like, you know, very few cars out, very few people out. And you kind of feel like, you know, the city is yours, or at least, you know, it's on loan. We just got finished with the classic party, which was dope. And it's my birthday tomorrow. He's always in it from the start to the finish. He dances. He just feels the music. We run a record label together, but that's so secondary, you know, to everything else. And, and above all of that is kind of our relationship with each other. We just decided that we were going to put out some records, and then we decided to start classic. Coming from the heart, coming from the soul, and coming from the beats. Four o'clock is prime time. That's when you want to open up. That's when you want to, you know, get it moving. There's a, a bevy of those kind of cats out there, and it's cool to be able to just like link up. They know, you know, it's unspoken, and, and it's cool. And we can get down. Hispanic, black, white, and gay, straight. Good system we got going. I don't have to think about living in Chicago. I just live in Chicago. You know, people leave home, I think, a lot of times searching for something or, like, to find something. And I already found what I need, you know, when I'm here. Chicago is mecca for dance music and house music in general. Um, I think the people that, that kind of started that all with, you know, Frankie Knuckles, Ron Hardy, kind of giving Chicago that identity as belonging to and of itself as a house music place. Chicago's just real. Chicago's just one of those cities where, you know, if you stink, somebody's gonna tell you you stink. There's an attitude here too, I think. Absolutely. It's inherent in the music. Like, you can see the people, you can hear it in the music, and it doesn't, it's not like any other city. My name is Derek Carter, and I'm from Chicago. A little dissertation on feeling about My mom had records, my dad had records, my parents sang a lot. More or less, I was always involved, you know, playing records, listening to music, going to church, listening to gospel. It all just, I don't know, it built up and it created me and my musical profile. When I met him, you know, in 87, he had already been a DJ for 10 years, 15 years, so. He had been spinning since the wee days that he was young for the Carter family reunions. My parents weren't like necessarily really strict, but there were rules, and if you broke the rules, you got in trouble. So there was always a bit of tension <clears throat> between my parents and I. I was a bit of a, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, but I was always in trouble, always in trouble. It's some uh, local kids. They do a night. It's a place called Zentra. Just pretty good. What I'm talking about. Industry crowd. Kids who don't get to go out on the weekends because they work. I hope you understand. And stuff like that. Work at clubs, bartenders, DJs. I don't know. That's cool. It's about dancing. It's about dancing. This one. This one. It's for dancing. Get him out of that. We're about to join that. We're going to be sick tonight. Hey! How you doing?
Dirt. Been better. Is that a kind of typical Chicago night out? It's one of the typical kind of Chicago nights out. You know, there's a couple of different varieties, but that was, you know, I've definitely worn those shoes before. Worked, you know, that work to do. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. <laughs> There's loads of uh, behind the scenes action that has to take place. Emails and, you know, writing and some studio stuff to take care of. What's up, you guys aren't record shop? Pleased to meet everybody in the UK. Mm -hmm. Rules of music are meant to be followed only so much, I think, you know, because you got to have a little attitude in order to throw some of the rules out and just go with what you feel. So this is Gramophone. Yeah, but I'm not walking up in there with no mic on. I can't, you know, I'm, I, this, all this is too much. I'm, you know, a normal kid, and this is my normal kid city, and I can't, you know, be no standout like that. What's up, fool? <laughs> hey, how's that? That's it, fool. That's Maddie. Hello. Hey, the album is the collection of things that I've been working on, you know, for the past few years. In the course of it all, I just started, you know, was working in different directions and different studios that I'd built up over the years and just putting together, you know, different tracks and different emotions and all kinds of really arty stuff like that. The title, Square Dancing in a Roundhouse. In America, a roundhouse is like a bar, but it's more like a, a country western bar, and um, you square dance at roundhouses. I mean, that's just what you do. <laughs> He's a warm gentleman. He likes to party. He likes people around him to have a good time. Everybody out the street just calls him, and everybody knows him. He's a humble cat. I'm like really proud to say that I've got like some great friends here, like people that I know that, you know, if it comes down to it, whatever, like, I can lean on them if I have to. Great DJ, great producer, great friend. I just know Tim. He'll drive you crazy sometimes. And now I'm gonna be his best man. He's always jovial. He's always in a great mood. He's always got a smile on his face. And he even, even when he's not, you yeah, know? Yeah, even when he's not, he doesn't bring you down, you know? He, well, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say well. that. Well, <laughs> I wanted you to have this. So you remember me. Oh! This is James Kerr. <laughs> He's live. <laughs> he does the greenskeeper stuff and skateboards. Greenskeepers is my good friend Nick and I, and we just make music for fun. <laughs> and a drunken fool. <laughs> drunken fool. <laughs> Which is the reason why we're out here. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have been finished. <laughs> James and his drunken stupor came up with the big idea of going down to the beach and doing some skateboarding. If he's at a party That's what and I was I'm at say, a party, you know, like I'm just... always moved by his performance. Always. Always. Brilliant. Always brilliant. Even when he's sloppy drunk. <laughs> But they started their collective to be like sisters doing it for themselves kind of thing, you know, to band together and, you know, like a sort of girl DJ union. Come on! Come to Papa! I have this thing about people who, like, I have a good time with or who make me laugh and I can laugh with them. And Diz and I, we laugh. There's love and difference. There's like. You know, I mean, I think it's cool when different people can come together and hang out and just whatever. I mean, obviously we have to share something, you know, which, which would bring us together. And, and that, at the moment, I think it's probably music. I never had like a, I made it, yes. Like, you know, running around the house naked, like, kind of episode. And my life has always been a lot more evolution than revolution, but 
like now I kind of think I've made it, you know, if I'm still here, you know, 20 odd years later. When we were young and free.